It was a dark period in North Carolina's history. For decades, thousands of women were forcibly sterilized by the state and their ability to have children taken away. Among them, a McDowell County woman who kept the secret for years. But as News 13's Ingrid Allstead reports, she's coming forward tonight sharing her heartbreaking story to help others understand how it happened. 50 years have passed since Lily Salmon's life was changed forever, but the pain will never be forgotten. And there we are up on the Blue Ridge Parkway. A snapshot of our past can be nostalgic. That's me, Carl. Yeah, you and Carl. In a picture, we keep memories we want to remember. I always just like that picture. Never the ones we'd like to forget. 71-year-old Lily Salmons has spent most of her life in McDowell County, dropping out of school in the seventh grade. I went and stayed with my grandmother to help take care of her. Caring for her grandmother and having fun with friends. And then a bunch of girls got running around together. So we had a ball. But at the age of 16, Lily didn't notice her body changing. Because I could still wear my own clothes. Not until the labor did Lily know she was having a baby. I know when my water broke, my older sister come and she come see Grandma. And she asked me, she said, why are your clothes doing wet? Lily's mother and father cared for baby Martha. And not long after, Lily was pregnant again. Oh, well, Mom and Daddy really raised them. I didn't have a chance to. It was then that Lily's parents went to the state for help in caring for the children. It was there that doctors recommended a solution, one Lily didn't understand and few could ever imagine. They should have let, told me and let me know what was going on and explained it to me more. It started with medical and psychological evaluations. Doctors using words like feeble-minded and sexually promiscuous. One doctor even saying, quote, patient is unattractive in appearance and evidently goes with any man who will pay any attention to her. She does not appear to have feeling about her pregnancies, going with married men or support and care of her children. The Marion doctor noted Lily was, quote, retarded to the degree that she may be given eugenics board consideration. Well, they kept putting papers up there for me to sign. I signed them. I didn't know what I was signing. It was decided on November 22nd, 1960, that 18-year-old Lily would be sterilized. They put me back in the hospital and then tied my tube stuck at home no more. It was a secret Lily kept, even from the men she married, a secret that drove two husbands away. I've heard because I couldn't keep no husband because they wanted kids and I couldn't have none. So that'd be the biggest reason to get a divorce because they'd want youngins and I did. couldn't get them. But that secret, buried for so long, was uncovered this spring when her daughter picked up the local paper. Wait a minute. Maybe this is what happened to my mom. Martha Hardy saw the headlines and called the eugenics board. Her mother was a match. They were invading women's bodies. They were making decisions for them that they couldn't make or didn't know how to make. You know, they were, they were taking up on themselves like they were gods or something. In fact, between 1929 and 1974, 7,600 men, women, and children were sterilized in North Carolina, all part of the state's former eugenics board program. It is so hard to comprehend that our government could do that many women in their childbearing years with not even a second thought. That second thought finally came when North Carolina lawmakers approved $50,000 per survivor of the eugenics program. The only way they know how to apologize is with money. So I guess it's better than nothing. But this summer, the compensation was cut from the state budget. Another blow to the victims. I think that was your trick. It's a memory Lily doesn't like to remember, but one that will never change. But sharing it may bring change where it's needed the most. I think more people need to come out and voice opinions about this. There are still thousands of sterilization victims that have not been identified. So if you or someone you know may have been affected, go to our website, WLOS.com, and click on More Info.